um hello everyone uh, good evening so here we shall solve some more kct previous year questions on the chapter uh, mechanical properties of fluids uh, so any doubts if you have then please write that in the comments section um, we shall obviously clarify them in the subsequent videos and in any other chapter of physics if you have more difficulty then please mention the name of that chapter also in the comments section so that we can give more priority on it and solve more and more questions on that chapter also some important homework questions will be uploaded in the sapiens education application whose link has been provided in the description so here it is told from the adjacent fi figure the correct observation is the pressure on the bottom of the tank a is greater than at the bottom of tank b so here so as we know that if means irrespective of the shape of the con uh, container if the liquid is the same and the uh, depth of, is also same means the height of the liquid column is also same and if the liquid is also same so then same pressure will be exerted at the bottom of the container so here the pressure exerted at the bottom of the container it depends on only the height of the liquid column so here the pressure at the bottom will be p naught plus rho g h where rho is the density of the liquid h is the height of the liquid column g is the acceleration due to gravity and p naught is the atmospheric pressure so here uh, the answer will be option 4 is the correct answer the pressure on the bottom of a and b is the same then it is told when a body falls in air the re the resistance of air depends to a great extent on the shape of the body three different shapes are given Identify the combination of air resistances which truly represents the physical situation. <clears throat> the cross sectional areas are the same. Cross sectional areas are same, but uh, the air resistance would be least for the cigar shaped, since uh, since the cigar shaped is is slightly like a stream. It is almost um, similar to a streamline shape. Streamline shape has the least air resistance. Streamline shape has least has least air resistance or has least fluid friction. So it means that cigar shaped is almost like a streamline shape. So it means it is the closest to the streamline shape. So cigar shape will have the least air resistance. And the disc will have the highest air resistance. So it will be 3 less than 2 less than 1. So option 3 is the correct answer. Then here it is told a closed water tank has cross-sectional area A. The closed, this closed water tank, its area of cross-section is A. And has a small hole at a depth of h from the free surface. Of the water, the hole is at a depth of h. The radius of the hole. The radius of the hole is such that it is much less than root over a by pi. If p naught is the pressure inside the tank above the water level, atmospheric pressure is acting, and p a is the atmospheric pressure, the pressure inside the tank above the water level. Okay. P a is the atmospheric pressure. Then, uh, okay. Closed water tank. 
and pa is the atmospheric pressure it means which will act near the hole rate of the flow of water coming out of the hole is now we can apply equation of continuity which is uh, a1 v1 here suppose the speed here it is v1 on the surface the surface let's say the speed is v1 so then we can say a v1 that is equal to here the area will be pi r square into v2 so this v2 only we no, we have to find actually this pi r square into v2 actually so now mm, also we can apply the bernoulli's principle that is p not plus here rho g h p not plus half rho v1 square now here we can see that since so here it is saying r is much less than a by pi it means it means that r pi r square is much less than a so therefore we can say that uh, uh, v2 will be means v1 also will be much less than v2 so v1 i can take negligible as compared to v2 so therefore p not plus half rho v square plus rho g h that is equal to p a plus half rho v2 square now v1 is negligible so v1 i can take approximately zero so therefore v2 we have to find so can say uh, okay half rho v2 square so that will be equal to okay, half rho v2 square so that will be equal to p naught minus p a plus rho g h so therefore v2 square i can say this will be 2 into p naught minus p a by uh, rho plus 2 g h so therefore v2 will be the square root of this now we have to find the flow rate rate of flow so therefore the rate of flow that will be equal to uh, the volume flow rate means how much volume of water will flow out of the hole per second so that will be pi r square into v2 so that will be pi r square into root over this thing two yeah two into p naught minus p a by rho plus two g h so it means option D is the correct answer. Okay. So hope all of you have understood the solutions of these questions based on the previous KCT exam. Still any doubts if you have, then please write that in the comments. Um, and please install our Sapiens Education application also, where we shall upload some important KC important questions based on the previous year KCT exam which shall be obviously helpful for your exam. So thank you everyone. Bye.